Hi, this is Steve Blair from Softy Matters Support, and in this little video, I'm going to just give you a quick tip on uh, building property page user interfaces in Soft Image and how to go about it when you're constantly updating your code and you want to see the changes in your UI. Uh, so right here, I've just got the wizard up, uh, the property wizard. So I'm just going to generate this property. It's got only two controls, and it's going to create an instance of the property for me so I can see. So here I got my basic property. Um, just want to make one note. Notice that the verbose is being logged here because all of the log messages here use verbose logging in the default code. So I just have to make sure that you have that turned on if you want to see it. So just open up the scripting preferences and down here log verbose messages. Anyway, so on to what I really want to talk about. It's pretty common that you're going to you know, generate the property, the initial instance of it, and then you're going to want to change it, add things. Like for example, I got this integer here, test. Um, so you know, I might want to change that to a radio button or some type of enum control. So I'm going to do that. Add enum control, uh, constants.si Hold on a sec. Okay, I just paused it there where I looked up something in the help. And what I, this is what I want to look up. Okay, so I'm changing it to a radio control, but I saved, made, I saved my changes. But if I look down here, I see uh, nothing really got triggered. My define layout callback didn't get triggered. And that's because Softimage caches the property page layout for performance. So, you know, just, up, just updating my code isn't enough. And even if I was to create a new instance of the property, create property, we'll notice only on and it is called, define layout not called. Um, so if I want to force a call to define layout, which is where I made my change, where I added this call, define layout, I go over here to my property, page, right click, refresh. And in this case, I made an error because I typed the wrong thing. So that's pretty common actually, so I'm just going to leave it running. It's like control radio, so you know, these are the kind of things that happen. So I'm going to fix my error, control radio, save it with control S, and this one now it's a little hard to refresh, so I'm going to refresh that one. Right, so now I see my changes. Um, just as another example, if I was to go back in here and add something, in this case I'm just going to add a log message, but in real life you'd be adding something a little more interesting. Control S, press OK. You can see it hasn't picked up the change in my callback code. Uh, in this case, even if I create a new instance, you know, it's got the new UI layout, but and it does have the uh, new callback code. Here in this original instance, if I refresh, click OK, then it picks up the change in my callback code. So for most simple cases, changes in the UI layout, changes in the scripting code, the callbacks, you can just refresh the property page and you'll see the changes while you're developing uh, your plugin or your user interface. Um, for more, sometimes there are changes, or you might get into a state where you might actually need to restart Soft Image, but it doesn't happen that often. But I have seen it happen, and that's it. Thanks for watching.